it's okay. underneath. They, yeah. they left his block. So we have I go shift, full sum mid lane, I get basin, go gap, and that's another type of uh, point which is uh, and this is the type site of work. And yeah. that is the middle point of my shirt. Oh, okay. I'll bring up Eden Scott's bluff, Eden Scott's bluff, and then upper and lower Frederick. And Frederick is right there. It's the final type, it's the final point for this is the type site for the 60s. And we can imagine things went wrong with the cars. Mm -hmm. So what they would do is they would do repairs on site, and then when they were done, they just tossed all of their trash into the backfill. So from the wall right here up to here is considered to be one unit. And then another unit starts here, and here we've only excavated a half unit, so two plots. Mm, okay. So what we did first is we were told to take uh, the front two quadrants down a certain amount. So that was our last 10 foot session. So it's very, it's very small. The technique is pretty much the same, though. The class, pretty much. Instead of sitting in a classroom for an hour three times a week, they work here for nine hours a day for ten days at a time, and do that two or three times. They do a bit of reading, do a, do a paper at the end, and they get credit. Out, they get credit out of it, of course. But more importantly, they get kind of. It's not an on-paper certificate, but they get a certification almost mm -hmm. that they know how to dig properly, meaning that they can be employed the next year. And this is what we call the pit of despair. Uh, pretty much, it's a backfill trench that we dug at the beginning of this year to do two things. Number one, look at the stratigraphy of the entire site. Because pretty much you can see how the dirt's kind of a real dark brown in here, a lighter tan in here, darker, lighter. We can look at that and we can attribute that to a type of point. So, say we're looking at E3, which is what we're starting to get into in these units over here. We know that that's the hill gap layer. So we can expect to find hill gap points and other artifacts related to the hill gap uh, culture. Now, the other. Uh, well, oh, oh, totally. We actually we have, we have a pollen specialist back at the university that we put all of this in bags and we send it to him. And he looks at those bags through my. He's out of Nebraska. Has done some pollen stuff too. He's over by Royal. Okay. Uh, I've he, heard the name Ashfall. before. I might have read something. Right? Yeah, he's a paleontologist, but he's done some pollen stuff too. Uh, what's that green stuff right there? Oh, that's moss. <laughs> that just kind of grows. Yeah, kind of like how when mommy goes and collects it for class. Uh, this is what we call Dibble's trench. Dibble is the man who invented the. Uh, computer system that we use with our total station, uh, and we also have a toad named Dibble that lives down here. Oh. But this is newer excavations. Pretty much, but that's kind of, that's kind of what's going on down here. Over there we're, inve we're investigating the higher sections, down here we're investigating the lower sections. And this is a project that's likely to take several years. Oh yeah, come on, come on in. Yeah. And I can show you guys some of what we found. So you guys can camp out here then? Yep, we camp right over there. Are you uh, uh, that the inventing? Oh, cool. Uh, I, I made my experience that uh, mm -hmm. I have to blow mm -hmm. out. Not I want to go to the place. Well, I don't know if they're going to still have that. We'll see. Okay.